up and he can't find women because he's too nervous. So we do all the talking for him. Breathe, baby. Daddy is here now. Oh, thank God for that. It was getting close flatline there for a second. Daddy can make you feel nice and relaxed. Daddy wants to give you a little cuddle. A little cuddle? Followed by a tight squeeze and a passionate drill. I could settle with that. I will rain down on your family. <laughs> you have no idea who you're talking to or what I'm capable of. That is not your opening. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Help me! <laughs> Episode number 29? Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, Holy maybe. shit. He's in murder claim. Is it 29? 29. Uh, 29, yep. Wow. Not a bad number at all. All right, so 29. And guess what? Before we even say a word, the tickets are on sale for our live podcast show, right? We're... We've we've sent them to the website members, so a portion may already be sold. You guys are the next in line. Link is in the description. The event bright. It's um on uh, November the. Let me double check. Twelfth, eleventh, twelfth. November the twelfth, eleventh. 11th mm. which is a Saturday and we're going out drinking after and there's a, a a small bar tab that we're putting on with the event that we're going to and it's just going to be a wild fun night it's going to be hectic as shit everybody yeah. we're, we're going to be there we're going to be there and we just let's all go out and have a couple of drinks after and see what I'll be there in my wheelchair mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Well, looks like fuck, man. What's been going on, bro? Like, what's been going on? <laughs> we went off to, we went to see the XFC f- fights on Saturday. We got invited and we got to sit at the table and watch all the fights. Man, amateur MMA is incredibly entertaining A to lot watch. Of fun because they're just like they're over so quickly the fights because it's just like the defense isn't as good, so they just. People just get like knocked out cold quickly. Yeah, they just they just swing and swing until someone goes down. Yeah, man, very interesting. There are some very good fighters there who do fight very well, but yeah, a couple just go for it. And then we all went to the casino and lost money. Hey, oh, thirty dollars down. Yeah, fuck. We should have gone out at the roulette. Yeah, but blackjack's so much funner. I just yeah, love I saying know. I'll stay over and over again. I feel like if you keep winning, you won't stop. You'll just be, I'll stay. And just until your money's gone. Because <laughs> it's not, I don't think it's about winning for you. It's just enjoying the moment, messing it's, with the other players. I love just talking to the dealer. And we and- kept pretending like we had a bribe going with the dealer <laughs> yeah. while the manager was walking past. What was his name? Clay or Dylan? Gin. No, no, there was another one. That yeah, the Kyle. Book. Kyle, and we changed his name to John. <laughs> yeah. And Michael kept yeah. saying, Kyle, do you want to come and sleep over tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think he was fine with everything until I asked him if he'd ever had an abortion. And then he's like, nah, that one's too much. Oh, really? That. Yeah. And then they swapped out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably because he it's has. It's too private, yeah. <laughs> Very personal question. <laughs> 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 so that's been our bloody um that's been our bloody week and weekend. Oh, we filmed a very a very good video last week. Look, Michael really didn't want to do it. It's it was a nerve wracking video. So and Michael didn't want to do it, so me and James Sick really had to organise it. And then <laughs> and the video was we were contacting aged care retirement homes around Brisbane saying, Oh hey, we're we're a um performance group called the Northside Sweethearts and we do volunteer performances in aged aged care homes mm. and one of them replied and was like oh yeah sounds great come on in so we got shirts made up and then Michael and I went in there I uh, thought it was cancelled I thought we weren't doing this anymore and then they spring it to me the day before yeah. we had to come up with a routine and yeah, oh, we rehearsed, 20 minutes long we rehearsed once here at home <laughs> and then we went and um, it's like a 15 20 minute performance and yeah safe to and like Julian's editing it now It'll have to be a website video first um, just because they emailed us after we left and were like, you know, that's not appropriate. Like, they're a little bit upset. But, like, we didn't hurt anyone. We didn't do anything inappropriate. We just did really strange performances. We danced weird. We did weird singing. We did, like, 
<laughs> really stupid like talent competitions did somebody on so the nurse recognize you immediate well looking at the footage now after yeah you can see that some of the nurses recognize us and are freaking out during our performance <laughs> <laughs> and then we just got out of there and uh yeah it was a bloody really lunch. beautiful video see how fun that was i it wasn't fun it was terrifying it was so weird. We got all be- the oldies in there like, clapping with us and shit. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's playing this over-friendly character that he does that is just like, yeah, hi, hello. Like, oh, oh. you just want to hit him. And he's just, just he feels comfortable more like that than himself. No, it's easier if you're pretending to be someone else. It's, it's easier because you can just blame all the feelings that you have on that character that you're playing. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like it's not really you that's maybe, happening to. Look, maybe, yeah, that's what we do in real life. Maybe I should work on that. Yeah, 100% people do that in real life. That's why, like, fighters, they have this, like, tough guy persona because the tough guy persona, he doesn't get scared. He doesn't get hurt. He just goes in and fucking hits his wife. Just flush on the chin. That's why, like, female swimmers have huge shoulders. Huge fucking shoulders, Matt. Okay. Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Nothing. Okay. And what did you do on the weekend, Matt? Well, I went to the... Fights with you? Oh, yeah. Matt came. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Friday, I was really sick. And <laughs> 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 and you got a sore knee still? No, it's getting better. And, oh. then, and yeah, so I slept a little bit and then I came out to find that everyone was just in the living room watching worms. Yeah, Friday night, we had a bit of a worm sesh, didn't we, eh? And Marty took a photo of me that he thought was the oh, greatest it's the photo best. ever. Well, James took it and yeah. It's, oh, James took it, it's, sorry. It is, yeah. I'd love to sh- Can show you put people it on the group? I think we should put it in the group, in the <clears throat> University of Markle group. You were page. holding a fake gun though, so I'd, oh. we'll just have to be careful. Maybe if we blur we the blur gun. that out. Yeah, but it's very good. <laughs> Matt just had had enough with life and he was just dressed in all black. It looks very, very funny. I was having a rant. <laughs> and Bozzy's still going strong. It's oh, been it's like crazy. like nearly, f- he's coming up to a month now and they gave him a few days. I'm convinced it's the, it's the medication. So now I'm just like so anal about giving it to him and I still get anxiety when he's home alone. So he's just... Aside from that, he's just fucking normal now. Imagine if he kicked on for like another year. Dude, I know. I fucking know. That's cray. That'd be great. He's so energetic. But I still just don't want to get my hopes up too high. But yeah, it's like... Chasing flies around today. It was good. Still going for walks every day. It's just fucking like hexy, bro. Do you know? I I love that little dog. He's a big dog. Sponsors? Sponsors? Well, we got to. Oh wait, what the fuck? Have you got more yeah, shit? Something happened what, today. Yeah, what crime did you commit? Oh. Oh. Matt just came home and goes, so, "I committed a crime." Yeah, fuck, I fucked up. So I was um, I was collecting PO box today. Did you go through your first orange light? No, just wait. You've never gone. You through drove an past light. a school. Uh, no, I did one on the weekend. Rules. Remember, you, I did it, oh, and you okay. guys all got excited. You littered. No. So what happened was Joe I went walking. and picked up P.O. Box and there was I had to go into the post office. Now, usually when I go to the post office, I always get myself a fresh new batch of stickers because I've got a big... There's a, I told you, they are the sticker yes. salesmen of Queensland. Were you fingered? No. Yeah. And um, anyway, I went up there and I had a package in my hand that was in the P.O. Box and I had a little slip for a bigger package. And I picked my stickers out. Thought money was going to fart. Never do that to interrupt this really um, story. Yeah, and I went up to to get them, and I forgot to put the stickers up. I had it under, I had it with the package, and it was behind the package, and I just forgot. And I I shoplifted from Australia Post. Oh, who gives a fuck? That's so like you can shoplift. It's you're allowed to shoplift these days. I reckon. And I felt terrible. I stole stickers from my sticker supplier. Sometimes let's call, let's, let's call them. Should I ring them? I'm and just say ju- no. I'll just say, hey, I'm really sorry. I apologize, but I um, I shoplifted today. I'm calling them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I reckon it was a complete accident, and I'll go pay. But I just so you've yeah. never shoplifted before. Yeah. What have you? What but have I, you stolen? Australia Post. Like I've shoplifted from places that I felt deserved to be shoplifted from. Oh, yeah, I reckon every business apart what, from bloody what, what post what um the what our one the uh, at. Yeah. Um, Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Here's a good tip. If you are getting bananas, 
get organic and charge them as regular so, bananas. So, so all right, let's do this. This this is a prank call right now. Okay, you this, sure? Yes. So you so you what accidentally stole them? Or did you put them in your pocket and forget about no, it? No, they were behind another package. So do you want me to show it? No, you're right. Welcome to Australia Post. Can you please tell me how we can assist you today? Hello, this is Craig speaking. Can I start with your name, please? Yeah, sure. My name's Matt Crown. Thank you, Matt. How can I help you today? Yeah, so I, so I came in today um, and I picked up some stuff from our PO box. Um, and oh, I'm so it's just going to sound like quite suspicious and I'm actually really sorry I feel so guilty about it but while I was putting the uh, P.O. box uh, getting the P.O. box I accidentally picked up some of your stickers and I've slid them in between some of my papers and I've completely forgotten they were there and then when I got back out to my car I saw that the stickers were in between the papers and I've taken them um, and I did not pay I did not pay for the stickers yeah um, bring in the next time you come in. Okay, Is that okay? Like seriously, yes. I can I can come in like later today. I'm just at work now, and I've asked yes. my boss if I can leave, but he said no. I can't I can't leave for that. So I I like I swear to God, like I can come in next time I'm available, but like I work nine yes. to five, so it's like so difficult for me to to get to you guys because you guys also are open nine to five, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so Sorry. it's like so hard for me to get to you, but like I just don't want this to go any further. Like I, I it's complete and proper mistake, and I'm honestly, I'm so so sorry like I get stickers from you guys all the time and I've just completely yeah. forgotten that they were in between my papers. You have to believe me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, thank you very much for being so honest. But just bring them, <sighs> next time you come in, bring them in and pay for them. Okay, so you, so everything's okay. You guys aren't going to like call the police yeah. or anything? No, <sighs> no. Oh my god, you have no idea how much relief I'm feeling through my entire body right now. I was like so scared oh. about everything. Hey? No, no, don't, no oh. don't we're not that bad. Not oh. that bad. Just bring them in and, and yeah, as long as you're going to the same post office. Yeah, yeah, fine. yeah. Just, just, just the one to take them. Yeah, that's that's one I always go to. And like I, because like I feel so bad because like I I know some of you guys there and like we like have chats and stuff and I feel so bad. I was like, oh, these guys are gonna actually think that I've stolen from you, and and, and I was like, that's gonna just ruin my entire relationship with the entire post office there. And I just I could really just couldn't handle it. I haven't been able to really function today. Uh, you'll you'll be fine. So yeah, just just bring him in and pay for him when next time he's coming. Okay. Help me! Help me! Help me! Yeah. All right. Sweet. Well, um, I should be able able to come in. You guys aren't open on weekends, though, are you? Um, which post office is it? Uh, just the Tagum one. The one of the Tagum shops there. Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Okay. Sorry. So bad is that? What's that? Sorry. Which suburb is it? Uh, Tagum. Tagum. Okay. Uh, 4018 is the postcode there. Help! Help me right now! Quick! I need help! So, is, do you know the opening hours for that one? Is you guys like open on weekends or anything? Yeah, they're normally open on a, on a Saturday morning. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, sweet. Okay, well, that's perfect then. So, is it okay if I hang on to the stickers? I won't take them out of the packet. Help! Help me right now! You need to come! Come here and help me right now! I'll leave them in the packet and then I'll bring them in on Saturday and then I'll pay for them then. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Right. Thank you so much. What, what was your name again? Thank Sorry, I'll, I'll just say when I... My name's Kay. Okay, sweet. So I'll, I'll just t I'll just tell them that I've spoken to you and it's okay. And can you just maybe make a note or something and just say that Matt oh, Cr Ma Matt Crown is coming? Help! Help me! Help me right now! Okay. Come in here and help me! Ah! Ah! Help me! Make a little note of Matt Crown coming in and I'm um, just to pay for the stickers. Yep, not a problem. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Ah! Bye. See you later, mate. Help! Help me! Help! Help! See, see you later. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh dude. Screaming help me is my new favorite oh. thing. <laughs> oh, she was so lovely. <laughs> Oh my god! I wish you played up K more because you said okay, like at the end, like okay K. Anyway, that's I, I, my- I couldn't hear her name. I didn't know what she sounded. Oh, dude, do you think she'll call the post office that I go to and be like, "Hey, I think this guy <laughs> stole." We've got it. Like, I reckon that's our new. Th- new and he knows. You scream, like, help me! I talk to the same guy every time, and I make a sticker joke. We could call just strangers and oh. do that. Dude, that I'm could be start, the new screaming segment. Dude, I'm going to start. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start just doing that when we're all out in public, I reckon. Yeah, it is. You've got a great scream. You're very mm. blessed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel lucky. Do, I, do your best. Help me scream. Oh, Help! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> is it good? Uh, yeah, yours, yours would be better than mine. Help me! <laughs> Like little kid, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. This anyway. sandlot. <laughs> oh, anyway, so that's the prank call done. We got fucking plenty of other shit coming up. We got oh. Matt vs. Michael. We got Tinder Adventures taking a beautiful turn. Fuck, are we checking the lying segment? Maybe, eh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but first, yeah. let's do sponsors. Did you know that for only $1 a week, you can sponsor a child in FUCK THAT SHIT! Go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYAXUAL20 and get 20% off male grooming products so you can groom yourself so you can get sucked off anywhere you go, cunt. I know, looking at you, you won't get sucked off. Well, you need a smooth phallus and smooth, beautiful, delicate testicles. So head to manscaped.com and get rid of your hair and get rid of your cum. Also for women, but also if you are a bit of an entrepreneur, buy the products for 20% off, add 10% onto the product, sell it, you make 10% profit and... Look, you're helping us too. And it's Father's Day in Australia soon, and I bought one for Greg. There you go. Perfect Father's Day gift. Perfect head to, Father's Day Head gift. to manscaped.com. Use our discount code FULLYAXUAL20. Link is in the description. And get your fucking dad a big pack so his balls are nice and smooth. Next time he's ramming away at your wife. No, mum. Your mum. Mum, mum. Oh. Mum. Unless your dad fucks your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Which, it does happen. It does. And of course... AG1. AG1 is the newest, latest health powder that fucking saves you, man. Cheers. It's, Matt's got some right now. It's 75 vital nutrients and and and, and it's it's shit you don't get every day, all right? You got your normal diet, you have your fucking steak and veg on a Monday. You have your fucking pizza on your Tuesday. You got your, your lasagna on your Wednesday and so on and so forth. Well, guess what? You're missing out. You're missing out on shit you didn't even know you needed. We can outsource it. Go to ag1.com and use our discount code fully actual. Link is in the description. You get a free travel pack. It's a monthly subscription. It rocks up at your door. It's a powder. You put it in a glass of water. One a day. And I promise you, you will feel the difference. Okay? We're not the only cunts who rave about this and use it. Look at my fucking fat jiggle. Look at that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And it's just fucking healthy as shit, man. It rocks up your door and you don't got to worry about it anymore. And it's green. <laughs> it is. Also for women. Cheers. So, yeah, it's uh, get around it. And, of course, our website, our new and improved website. We have two new content creators on there, Kylovic and Zach Ass. And, man, they do some fucking wild shit. Kylovic wants to come and film with us and we're, like, kind of scared. Because uh, I we, reckon, are, we are fucking pussies compared to him. I reckon it's going to be motivating. Do you, you guys are going to get. Oh, you guys dude. are going to do something. Yeah, but we'll probably like hurt ourselves. Yeah, yeah. we'll probably it'll go wrong. We'll, we'll be real scared, now. <laughs> and then we'll break, wrong. snap our wrist or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we're going to snap our wrists. Oh. As long as it's one each. 
There's a 21 day free yeah. trial Link in the description You can see oh. all the videos We have over 270 videos Michael and I personally have on there Alright And they're all fucking crazy And amazing I don't know what website video is out right now Because it's two weeks ahead We're two weeks ahead on the podcast So <sighs> You're listening to this in the future does that make sense? Mm. But we just posted a blindfolded slap fight where Michael and I, we get in a ring, we blindfold ourselves, and we have nothing but our fucking hands to slap each other, and it is intense. Is this where James is the ring girl? Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. Not just our hands. We did a belt round. We oh, did another yeah. round of fucking, like, I can't yeah, even remember right. it. We did a belt round, too. There was an even harder round. The belt round was the worst, I think. But, yeah, it gets pretty hectic, and... You yeah, that's out now. It's been out for two weeks. So yeah. go to our website, universityofmichael.com. No, it's uh, welcome. It's link in the description. We've got a new link now to the new website. All right. It's a brand spanking new. You can comment. You can search for old videos. So you can easily go and type, oh, nail gun. And the nail gun video will come up. You can see Michael nearly die. There's You can see the fucking um, ass, to, ass volcano video oh. where Michael nearly dies. You can see Julian Woods grinding me naked. And you'll be able to oh, see yeah. us fucking with the retired. Village people as well. That one's coming out soon. Well, helping. We call it helping. Yeah. Providing entertainment to those of need. How many hours of video is it now? Do you reckon? Do you know the number? Oh, oh man. man. If I'm I had to guess, say I'd say 150. Fucking hell. And then, then how many hours has it taken to put all that together? It's taken four years. Four years, years yeah. Well, even more because some of the footage is from before four years. <laughs> yeah, we had before four years. <laughs> So I reckon it's like five, I'm going to say five years of work, of weekly work, yeah. like weekly work. And now two new creators, which will be doing their weekly work. And we're going to find more creators. As long as the website keeps growing, we're going to find more creators. And like I said, we, our dream is we want to have like a, a website of just fucked up dudes that post, that, that, that post stuff that you can't post to social media because let's be honest. You know, social media, the rules are uh, tightening tighter and tighter. Ever changing. And the, for those people who do want to make out their content, this is it. Yeah, this is all you can do. And also, um, you may have noticed that the podcasts have had to be cleaned up a little bit to keep them on this platform. Yeah, but um, you can always watch the full audio versions on um, Spotify, but you're not missing out on much, so don't stress. Yeah, and okay? hopefully we'll have the video for the Spotify yeah. attached. So we've, we're we're fine tuning the um, the censoring stuff, so we like we, we're not going to be cutting. You're not we're not cutting out large chunks of stuff. There's just certain words and certain senses sentences that so we have to get. There's some fucked up bits of. that have to be cut. So if yeah. you like fucked up shit and you want to hear a bit more fucked up, go to the Spotify. Yeah, but but don't but, you but also, don't stop watching us. Yeah, please, please, stop, please. I'm stop, just I just stop. I just really want you guys to just be happy with me. Stop. <laughs> what? Oh, oh yeah, we can't have that up there anymore. Sorry. Really? We can't even talk about what it was. No, we we we, we can put it back. We're in talks with them. It's soap. Everyone. Did that really come up as a issue? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very Horns Davison. <laughs> but look, it's all this and that and bits like this and there. Time. Look <laughs> <laughs> at Matt's eyes <laughs> darting around the room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Matt was a drug dealer and you come and collect a bag of fucking meth off him and he's dressed oh my like God. That. Yes, you figured it out. Yep, we did. And let's fucking have our very first bong break and we'll be right back with Matt first, Michael. Bong! Because you've got bong. We've got bong. And we're back. All right, it's time 
for Mad Vers, Mark. Who won last week? Me. I think. Ready? I think he's one behind now. Yeah, he's one. It's 14 13. Go. Mad Vers, Michael, it's Mad Vers, Michael, it's Mad Vers, Michael today. <laughs> Mad Vers, Michael, it's Mad Vers, Michael, it's Mad Vers, Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, oh, what's the come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Come have fun today. Bottle of. All right, this is Matt vs. Michael, and this is where Matt and Michael go head-to-head against each other every single week, and we tally up how many wins they have, and whoever's winning by the end of the season gets to keep Matt's bottle of... Which is no longer sitting here. Which we can't show. No longer sitting here, but you know what we're talking about. It is the most vital piece of fluid that has ever existed. Vital. It makes life. And for today's Matt vs. Michael... Bring it in, James! Oh, no. Do we close our eyes? Yes. Mm. Okay, close your eyes until the Faclines and the Faclines. Oh, I'm scared. Because you've got what we've... Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, oh. I can see his shadow. Nothing can hurt you. Nothing will hurt you. Oh, I don't want to see it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at James. <laughs> All right, open oh! your eyes. Oh! Open your eyes. I cooked it. <laughs> What's in the middle? All right. You've done something. Listen chilly. closely. Listen closely. All right. This. You look so cool. Matt. Can you get a chair and sit down? Yeah, yeah. Pull up a this stump. isn't fair because I hate peanut butter. Pull up a stump. Matt loves peanut it's butter. Matter. Oh, dude. I'm so not. No, this is. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of wheat. All right. So. <clears throat> now. So it's fair then. You don't <laughs> like wheat bigs, you don't like peanut butter. This is an old old trick that I learned that got taught at a high at a primary school camp. It's a peanut butter and wheat bigs. They're very hard to eat and it's going to be oh. an eating competition to see who can finish theirs first, okay? Oh we God. have two wheat bigs <laughs> with a big thick strip of peanut butter in the middle, but it's delicious and sweet. I hate this, dude. This really? is good. I'm so out of my comfort zone. Can we I have not water? feel like eating this. No, I don't not, think so. After you finish, you can, can we have yeah. a sip before? Yeah, yeah you can now. have yeah, yeah, You can have something oh, to to wet to wet your whistle. Why? That doesn't look good. It's just water. It'll be right. It's just a bit of condensation. Seat. Imagine oh. if it was all a prank and that was actually like chloroform <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh man! All right. You're dead. I want to time you guys too. What do we do? Just out of curiosity. So you, you can tell me you have not fucked with this. You have not put no, chili or anything. One hundred percent swear. I swear on my mum's life. Okay. Okay. Wait. Right. It's a who can eat it first. Who can eat it first? Okay, it's wait. that simple. <sighs> oh fuck! It's that simple. Matt. Matt's like, look at him. He's in his fucking mode. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! You're a fast eater, though, yeah, Brookhouse. Yeah, you yeah. eat like a. Okay. This is a good. Like, this is actually the first competition I reckon where they're actually both very good at this skill. These are. If I had to th- pick the two fastest eaters I know, it'd be these yeah, two. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, wait. I'm fucking stressing. It's not my. That's good. That means you're Use hydrated. It. I'm going to mess it. my lipstick up. Hmm. Worth it. All right. Are we ready, everyone? Just uh, what? Is he taking a Whoa. bite already? Oh, I've just separated it. Yeah, wait till we begin and then you oh, can, can separate. Yeah, yeah, I like reckon. Separate? Yep, you can separate. Because you've oh. got- As long as the got- plate is clean at the end. Wait, clean, clean? Yeah, like lick, already a mess. lick it. All right. Without further ado. Nah, I reckon it just has to be gone. Yeah, yeah. All of it gone. Yeah. Um, I reckon splitting it makes it easier. Oh my god, I've got like butterflies in my tummy. All right, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Here we go! 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 Whoa, Matt's finished the first one. Oh, yeah, or has no, he gone the too chewing, strong? The chewing will suck <laughs> all of the moisture out of yeah, his mouth. Yeah, it's currently acting like a massive sponge <laughs> and just, just sucking up all of his juices. <laughs> it is now like chewing on a large box of tissues. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the fucking drums yeah. fly out? So much dust. He's got a dusty throat, the brown. Michael's like monitoring his opponent. He's still chewing, Matt. And he's going bit by bit. But yeah, Matt's still the first one. Matt is also monitoring Michael. They're and he's, monitoring he's, he's upset other. by how many crumbs have just dropped on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> He's put that back into the back into his brown brain as an excuse if he loses. Yeah, hundred percent. It's not all gone. See, there's crumbs there. <laughs> like Matt's still chewing his first wee bigs. Just to give you an idea, like it's been one minute. That's how long it so takes dry. to chew. <laughs> 
It's so Fifth. fucking dry. Oh, Michael swallowed his first oh, one. He Michael's has taken ahead. a lead. Michael's ahead. Michael has taken now a lead. Now he's got the peanut butter one, though. <laughs> Matt's panicking. <laughs> Come on, Matt. I'm interested to see if Matt okay. uses the same strategy. Come on. Come on, Brown. Just oh, swallow it. Whatever's You're also ma- talking. He's not. Whatever's in your mouth, just swallow it. Has to be. <laughs> Oh man, I think Brookhouse has slipped into quite a solid lead. Come on, Brown, bring it go. home. Bring it home, Brown. You've got a lot of, of yeah. peanut butter on that one, which means some sweetness. This so is your advantage now. It'll go down, you, it'll moisturize your, your, your mouth. You love peanut butter, Matt. This is it now. Come on. Yes, that's it. Come on. Get it down. Come on. Come on, Here get we it go. down. Oh my God. All right. Oh, it's all he's in. gone for Matt's it. He's gone for it. He's fucking love that. gone for it. He's throwing a Hail Mary here. There's oh, <laughs> a minor panic in Matt's eyes. Michael looks confident. Michael's taking small. <laughs> Are you trying to take something out? It's stuck on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> he said it's stuck on the roof of his mouth. <laughs> Go on. Two minutes. Oh, man. Who would have oh, thought it go. takes this it's long? Michael is a Michael. fast eater, eh? He's so quick, eh? All right, here we go. No, they've both got all the wee bigs in their mouth. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Matt's poking around, it. poking around like I was just. I can't get <laughs> I think Brookhouse is pretty confident. He's coming oh, down the back end. He's doing a little victory dance. Oh, Matt swallowed it all. No, he hasn't really. It's still a big ball of peanut butter you and have to dry open your mouth dust. And show the emptiness. Wow. And Michael is done. Brookhouse open takes your it. mouth. Let's see how much I'm is left. Can I just see how much is left in your mouth? Man, oh, Michael, good strategy. Fucking bit by bit. Hell. Yeah. Fucking hell. Slow and steady won the race. You don't do that with fruit. You just fucking Could slam fruit, a whole fucking- Fruit you can swallow. This you can't swallow straight away. Sucks up all your moisture. Fruit, I would kick your <laughs> ass in a fruit eating comp. Yeah, he would. I used to be fruit. <laughs> Having said that though, I reckon if a whole meal- Yeah, like, that's, a, that's, like a pizza or something? Yeah, sometimes we'll be out and like I'll have a couple of mouthfuls and I'll just be like, and his plate's like that. It's just gone. <laughs> mm. I'm not too far off though. Yeah, yeah, that was good competition. Yeah, slow, um, slow bits at a time. Was that it's surprising how hard that is to eat? Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's so tricky. You have to get a little bit. The peanut butter bit. just it combines and makes like full cream <laughs> like, <laughs> into the top of your mouth. It fills that the was gap. stabbing around in his <laughs> yeah, mouth. Yeah, fun. <laughs> was it kind of yum? No, no, sorry. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Oh, wheat on those shit. <laughs> I didn't buy those wheat picks. <laughs> I like prepared the wheat. Hey. <laughs> I prepared the wheat. I like crushed them, put them in the oven the last yeah. like six hours. Well, we had the wheat we, and the peanut butter. Well, he grew the wheat plant as well. <laughs> <laughs> at the back. All right, I'm going to go back to the kitchen. Very. All right, very good. Thank you, James. Dude, dude. <laughs> That's good. All right, so Michael takes it. That brings us to 15 to 13 overall. And look, there's not many episodes left before the finale now. So I think that will be like, it'll be like three weeks. So it'll be around episode 37 that we film the finale. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. I mean, for them to have to do earlier. No, no, for us to film it because we'll be, we've already booked in the date. And now because we've missed a couple of weeks, like... Does, does that make sense to everyone? Like yeah. the, the episodes will come out. The season finishes later now because we've missed two weeks. <laughs> so, and, but we're still filming the finale on the same day. When have, we haven't pushed the finale date back two weeks, even though we've missed two weeks of posting this season. Yeah, I wonder, we might have to film early so then we do come into the finale and then the people, the live audience get a heads up early on what's the tally in the um, Michael versus Well, Matt. you could have, there could be a winner before we get there. Yeah, but no, I reckon we have to have a winner on the night because that's how we decide that. Yeah, we have to have a winner on what the night. What do you night. mean? Well, what's, what's the point of doing all this? Well, well that's we'll have to finish them early. So we'll film these before we actually do. Well, unless unless you just win like the next five in a row and then it's already mm, over. That's what I mean. I'm on like, what, 15, 13? Right now. Uh, 15, 13, yeah. Hmm. It's close. That's still digging around his mouth. Yeah, fuck. I can't believe we used to eat wheat picks. Yeah, and, and like that used to be like, oh, it's they're so not healthy, healthy, right? Well, they're not like, they're, it's just like fucking wheat. A yeah. wheat picks, kid. Yeah, and Brett Lee used to eat like nine of them. How yeah. many do you do? He's that's dead right. now. No, that's Warren. He's been on this podcast. He was yeah. on this one time. All right. Rest May in peace, rest in Shane peace, Warren. Oh. Still spinning up in heaven, I bet. Mm. Bowling out all the other angels up there. Banging a. Huzzah! 
<laughs> Having sex. Three girls at a time. All right. That was great. Great work, boys. All right, let's yeah. move right along. It is time for Matt's Tinder oh, adventures. Yes. Hit it, Matt. Hit that ditch. Hit that ditch, man. T I N D R, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha ha ha. Matthew Brown has lost control now. These women will lose their souls. <laughs> and this is a segment where we have taken over the Brown's Tinder because he's a single mid 40s half unemployed fucking I'm a 36 and I work full time injured cunt 69 sitting, huh? sitting there all dressed up and he can't find women because he's too nervous so we do all the talking for him and I speak to these women exactly how Matt would speak to them I've known this man for decades I know how he talks <laughs> All right, here we go. And I think we have a fair bit of headway this week. Let's be honest. Oh, wow. We're sending you girl after girl after girl. You can't deny that any longer. Can I break for a sec? I just want to get another drink. <laughs> <laughs> you can start ready. If you want. No, I want you here. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. Matt's just going to go get some water. Give me that. Give me that fruit. All right, let's start off with a couple of short sweethearts, oh. and then we'll get into the longer conversation that the Brown had with his victims. I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so Matt starts this one. <clears throat> Brick up the front door. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> That's so funny. When are you born? <laughs> 1989? You have me so lost. Oh, sick. I was born too. How many houses have you been in? <laughs> And then she unmatched. <laughs> Aww. How many houses have you been in? It's such a good question. <laughs> was she, was she pretty? Who the fuck would know that? <laughs> hey, is she pretty? Uh, I, don't, I don't look at looks. I only judge people off their personality. Maybe you should try it. Crust. Daddy is here now. You're safe. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy wounds weep into my bed sheets. <laughs> Stay around me while I peel them off. Unmatched. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> fucked. Fuck. Matt starts this conversation. <clears throat> Do you have any of your teeth from when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Unmatched. <laughs> Dude, that's actually a really nice question. No one's ever asked someone that. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why she unmatched that. That was Lisa <laughs> I reply. I would piss myself if someone <laughs> said that to me. <laughs> oh, very good. Breathe, baby. Daddy is here now. Oh, thank God for that. It was getting close flatline there for a second. Daddy can make you feel nice and relaxed. Daddy wants to give you a little cuddle. A little cuddle? Oh. Yeah, a little cuddle. Followed by a tight squeeze and a passionate drill. I could settle with that. Do you understand what drill means? And that's an ongoing conversation. So there you go. Another one that I'll give you later. You're welcome. Next. I will rain down on your family. <laughs> you have no idea who you're talking to or what I'm capable of. That is not your opening. <laughs> Did they reply? This way. Oh. Then, then you reply again. Oh, my fucking God. I'm so sorry. Wrong chat. <laughs> 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 Oh, long story, but please ignore that. <laughs> this, this is the worst opener. <clears throat> well, how about this for an opener? I rip my shirt down the center to reveal a thick plume of chest hair. I part my chest hair and two chest testicles dangle freely. I wink at you and start jumping up and down. My chest testicles fling about and I open my eyes as wide as I can. So wide that my eyeballs loosen and fall out of my eye socket. Embarrassed, I start screaming and turn away from you. You grab me on the shoulder and I turn to you and we share a kiss and whisper, It's okay, Matthew. I'm matched. Oh. Man, they're quite... Oh, my God. Nobody's really willing to give me a try. Yeah, yeah. We, I, we might have to pay because, like, they're really... It's getting really hard to, like... Get matches? The matches are drying up. So, um, yeah, we might have to pay because... um. Yeah, it's there's less people to because obviously a very small percentage of these people actually have conversations with you, so it's getting like you know. anyway. Slim skin sheets make great curtains. What's your favorite flavor? 
Huh? There's long sheets of skin hanging from my windows. They make really cool curtains. What's your favorite flavor? Vanilla choc chip cookie dough. I want to profit from your body. <laughs> Have oh. you ever considered OnlyFans? No, oh. I, no, I haven't. We could make a killing with your body and my skills in the bedroom. 80-20 split for you. <laughs> Maybe dinner first? Fine, but I'm not cooking. <laughs> what time do you want me over tonight? And that's an ongoing conversation. <laughs> Try and push her into OnlyFans. Holy shit, dude. That is fuck. Profit from her body. That's a great line. I want to profit from your body. That's a great pickup line for any blokes out there that are going out on the fucking weekend, getting a few beers, and want to fucking get get a bloody bird, walk up and say, I want to make profit from your body. (laughs) It's funny you say that it's a great pickup line for people because people have been lightly sending in some of their Tinder conversations where they've taken your style and approach. And <laughs> some of it's pretty funny. Yeah, well, you should read them out. Let's yeah, make, yeah, if anyone, them, if anyone is doing that on Tinder and using Marty's style of, um, of pickup, <laughs> send it in. I'll happy, really, happily read yeah, it Yeah, put out. them all in a folder and then we can read some out. Okay. And send us your embarrassing stories, please. Yeah, and your credit card details. Um, all right. This is just, I don't know why. I'm just loving these daddy ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the daddy so, ones are sickening. So Matt starts with, <clears throat> Daddy sees something he likes. Daddy wants to take you out. Seriously? Does that ev- even work? <laughs> daddy senses some attitude. Don't make Daddy upset. Oh. You know what happens when Daddy gets cross and cranky. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, Unmatched? Rough. Ongoing. She hasn't replied. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Fuck. It's funny how the ones that don't, reply but yet keep you around that scares me <laughs> that scares me I'm gonna end up on a forum somewhere <laughs> alright um, alright here's a slightly longer one uh, last one here we go here we go damn I'm itchy for you sway my hips from side to side I'm such a goose <laughs> You are a goose, lol. So is that a compliment? I'm lost. <clears throat> oh yeah, trust me. That's a massive comp- compliment if you knew my friends. We only ever when we only are ever itchy for something when we really want it. My mate last night said he was itchy for KFC and he hadn't eaten all day. So yeah, it's a great compliment. Haha, <laughs> nice analogy. <laughs> oh yeah, we have really cool and hip lingo in my friendship group. You'll see them when you meet them. Bounce a marble off a baby's skull and catch it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm a little older than you. Where do you live? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty mature for my age. I've dated an older woman before. She was 68 years old, believe it or not. I lean forwards and shuffle my shoulders around like a bird fluffing its feathers. <laughs> no way, you didn't. Not for long, just like four months. It was actually really beautiful. <laughs> How did you end up dating s- someone that much older? I used to host bingo nights at the G-Bung RSL. There was, this, there was this real old bag that kept giving me the eyes. I got drunk one night and thought it would. Ha- I thought uh, and thought I would have a turn. We re- we got along. Re- <clears throat> we really got along, and one thing led to another. <laughs> Pretty wild, but I don't regret it. She didn't have any teeth. Oh my god! No oh. way! That is so wrong. <laughs> it was actually a really fulfilling relationship, so I would appreciate it if you didn't judge me. She was kind and caring, and she didn't have any teeth. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm sorry. It's hard yeah. not to judge. I just know it would be way out of my comfort zone. Sometimes purposely putting yourself outside your comfort zone is where you grow and learn the most about yourself. Plus, she didn't have any teeth. What's the oldest person you've been with, if you don't mind me demanding to know? Eight or nine years younger. <laughs> How was it getting slung up your guts by a younger fella? <laughs> Better or worse than guys <laughs> your age? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she has not replied. How <laughs> is it getting slung up Whoa. your gut? I thought you were making that up. That's a real thing. How was it, How oh. was it getting slung up your guts by your younger fella? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's what you said. That's what you said to her. <laughs> Oh, all right. Oh. Mm. Well, let's move along. Should we do a Q&A? Do you yes, we should. I've got, only got a couple. Press that to button, tea. bitch. You have all the questions, and we have all the answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. you. 
you asked for it and here it is it's question and answer time you guys we read the questions you guys comment on the Marty and Michael fully actual YouTube channel we answer the most liked questions first once you comment your question have a scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer and remember we are two weeks ahead so if you comment your question on this podcast we won't see it until two weeks from now okay when this podcast comes out does that make sense all right so don't be like oh they didn't answer my question even though i had the most likes because it's coming it's coming you asked for it it's back don't forget to like comment subscribe and leave a five star review on spotify please please it just takes a second and it helps so much please help us <sighs> And um, fucking um, what else was I gonna say? You've got all the and oh yeah, please let us know any other segments that you dearly miss, um, and we will try to bring them back. Matt's black book, unfortunately. Have you got a confession you'd ever confess to your mum or dad? Yeah, there's one. I think I've told this before. Um, when I was first having <laughs> my first girlfriend, we would uh, mostly do it at her house, and she was so scared of getting caught about having. <laughs> That she'd make me take the <laughs> with me, so I'd wrap a little oh, note on it and put it in my wallet. Story. Have I told you this? Yeah. Have and you, then is, can just, we just oh, calm sorry. down? Let me yeah. finish. God, oh, it's like ADD, isn't it? Um, and so I put it. We had sex. I put it in my wallet, and I I left her house and I went home, and and anyway, I put my wallet on the bench, and, and your uh, is in it, and I had cash and I had fifty dollars cash in it, and I I think I was I had to give mum fifty dollars something like that. I I had it in there to give mum. And oh. when I put it in my wallet, I didn't like hide it anywhere. I just put it in the wallet and shut it. Anyway, on my table, mum walks in and goes, says, hey, do you have that $50? Picks Is this up- the first thing she said to you or was there something else before that? No, no, no we're just, it was just a normal day. There's probably something before that. If it was the first thing she said, then that's cheap of her because you should say hello no, first. No, for you ruining the story. I'm just well, saying, like, it would be it. so <laughs> weird if your mum came in. Matt, where's the $50? Like, no, that no. would be weird. She no, didn't no. do that? It was like, a, it was, I was there for like, I was home for like an hour. So there's a lot of yeah. conversation. A lot of conversation. Yeah, so you, yeah disgusting. Oh, I have everything. to make context for him or he can't keep up. Well, I just don't want your mum to be like a poor ass like, going, where's my like, $50? She, to his own yeah. son. You, you did make her sound like a bitch. You did make her sound like a massive bitch. Don't take money off your kid. You know? say that about my mum. Okay, we got. <laughs> and uh, basically, she's walked in my room and said, hey, do you have that $50? And she's opened up the wallet and my <laughs> full of <laughs> has fallen out onto the ground. <laughs> and I've gone, oh, shit. Sorry about that. I picked that up. And then she's like, is that is that used? And I went, I went, no, no, no. I was just, I just opened one and I, I forgot to put it in the bin. I just put it in there. I forgot about it. And she kind of bought that. And I went straight to the bin, threw it in the bin and just, she never looked, never said anything. And to this day, she thinks it was just me opening up with my friends. What would I it, opened it up in front of my friends. What would it cost for us to call you and tell her that? You name a number. What would you pay to hear me say that? $80. $1,000. $80. Dude, $1,000. $80, dude. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. We have to have a, a discussion. Um, just don't listen for a second. <laughs> I'll go 350 I'm 350 I don't think he's going to do it. It's a bag. He does love bags. All right. We're, we've decided uh, on the number. Do you want to know what the number is? 350 Yeah, thanks. I was here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. $350 right now. I'll transfer it to you right now if you call your mum and tell her and remind her of that moment. <sighs> All right. Really? Yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> James, you got to come in for this shit. Can you, you're going to have to stop my phone camera so I can get the number out so I can put it on your phone. Okay. We'll be back with the an- number. She might not answer. So let's just try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Leave a voice she message. Might she might be at work. Leave a voice message if she if doesn't answer. If it's a voice answer. message, then you know. James, you're not going to believe this. Um, James, this is good. Matt's going to call his mom and tell, confess her something fucked up that he did. Do you know the tale of when the story how his mum went into his wallet and found a used she might remember because she was poor and she asked like she, she might be around fifty dollars <laughs> she might remember it was different for me oh um God. oh you got this number <laughs> yeah uh, i got connor me. cut this number please oh, um, if you left it in yeah so when he was a kid his mum who's he's, poor he's tried this. to get fifty dollars off him okay but are you gonna tell her you're on the podcast yeah. he's gonna i'm gonna tell her <laughs> make it seem like it's been bothering you for years and you're not on the podcast <laughs> please it's for three hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, Matt, yuck! It's for three hundred and fifty dollars. That's, that's exactly what she's mm. gonna do. She might go wash her hands. We have Matthew' mother's phone number. Matt's gonna t- t- call her now and 
confess that the use <laughs> the she found was actually used. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, um, <laughs> you got to don't don't come clean quick. You've got to earn yeah, this no, and do I'll it. Like, tell her the story. I'll, 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 I just got to make sure. And she let her remember. react. I want to hear. Just, how, is she? Hey, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> want to know? Just, if she's um, still poor. <laughs> no, don't be mean. Don't be mean to my mum, or we'll cut this whole thing. That's yeah. going to give her half the money we give him. My mum's so a she saint. can go to Coles for a couple of weeks. <laughs> my mother's a saint. Do not be mean to my mum. Oh. Um, you say you're calling off the work phone. Oh no, no, you're calling off. Um, no, no, I'm just. No, I'm just. Oh, I'm just <laughs> no, I'm just telling. Because like, you're poor. <laughs> The person you are calling oh. is bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Take it back. I take that back. I'll I'll take it, it back. Try try it. Has Michael met The Jill? person you are yeah. calling is not she's available. Lovely. I'm just upset she's about the phone situation. Oh, that was great. Yeah. She might call back. Damn it. All right. Look, hopefully she calls back. But that leads us into a great segment idea. Guys, if you have anything that you would like to confess to your mum or dad, Give us your phone number. We'll call them and do a three-way call and somehow connect you with your parent. And you have to admit Tell, to something that you did we'll as a pay kid. You. If it's a good enough confession, we will pay you. Confessions for cash. So oh, you guys yes. you, you guys DM us. Tell us what you want to confess. If it's a good enough confession, we will pay you to call them live on the podcast and um, to confess to them. But you have to make sure that they're available, like that they actually will answer, okay? Because we can't be fucking, fucking calling fucking Matt's fucking mum. Oh, she's working. I can't. I'm, I'm a hardworking brown now. I think now. the only thing we struggle with here is how can we be guaranteed that it's not just some random it's lady? It's real. Mm, yeah. It's so hard yeah. to know. So I reckon that's- that we'll be able to know from the acting, first of all. Yeah, the reaction of yeah. the mother. Yeah, okay. All right, well, look. Potential there. If you got confessions you want to make, is there any more? Oh fuck! Is there anything we could confess to your mum from you when you? Could you tell her that you killed the cow? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a long one. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> How much would it cost for you to tell your mum you've killed a cow? <laughs> you already pay me a salary. I don't need more money. <laughs> um. Not this week. I don't want to be the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see how it goes. And I need oh. to think about my approach. <laughs> hey, hey, she'd be hey upset. darling, you remember back when I went to school, just straight into it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> there's definitely a few Did she know about the sex in the car thing? Yeah. yeah Fuck, okay. that's just what I was thinking about. Oh, man. I'd, I was... You know, I think doing that in the car with my girlfriend at the time, and I lent. I need. I, my knee answered my phone. I didn't know it was ringing. Oh, like what are the how? Oh, man. oh no! Is this like, is this well, like thirty-three ten days where there was buttons yeah, to answer? Yeah. It was on silent, and oh, it just was by God. chance that I just had to land on my knee. Did you see after that your mum was still on? No, the phone? she called me back. She oh. called me back and like confronted me about it. Oh, I heard you in the car. That's oh. so. <laughs> it was no. Yeah, she'd be a lot but like these days she would just like she would laugh and hang up. But back then cuz I was only I was younger. Your little boy. I was only like 17 or 18. She was she still wanted me to be a Christian. Oh yeah. man. No sex before marriage. That's hectic. That oh. is Yeah, that oh. is. It still old, makes me cringe yeah. so hard that I've just blocked that out of my brain. I'm really upset it's back. <laughs> oh man. I won't sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so yeah, send in your confessions. If they're good enough, we'll pay you to confess live on the podcast, okay? That's a fucking ripper. Anyway, let's let's move on to the questions, which we said we we're going to do like 20 minutes ago and then got sidetracked by Matt's disgusting story of, of his poor, poor mother. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we're still waiting to get questions yet <laughs> it'll be next week before the people start asking questions again yeah the questions will probably, the one, questions will come out on this, this one today's yeah. episode coming out yeah um questions from a uh, legster 983 no, um <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why did you guys go see Gary V? Were you there to take the piss and do a prank or were you there to see him legitimately? Yeah, like we it's just nice. He's just uh, like I he like Gary V. Hot. He thinks we're really hot. I like Gary V cuz he's just really um sure. has a positive outlook and it's just a reminder to that life's good cunt. 
and not to fucking stress cunt. And um, he's a good dude and we, great we, kisser. We we went to him. Well, I, I used to go to his shit like before we were even, you know, Marty and Michael. Just out of curiosity, weird. It's weird for us to to do that, I guess. But like, yeah, believe it or not, I really liked learning about social media before we started making videos. Did you actually kiss him? Uh, mm. No, Michael. No. Damn it! I should have gone along with that. Yeah, I was actually convinced. <laughs> if he's that positive, he might be like, "Yeah, fuck it, <laughs> let's make out." <laughs> no, he was a friendly fella. But um, yeah, it was it was good. That was the day that I came home and fucking Bozzy was. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So that day will forever, Traumatic. forever hold a um, darkness above me. That now, even now, sends shivers through my spine. So in a way, Gary V, Gary V, <laughs> attempted. His fault. Attempted murder on Bosley. You <laughs> was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's attempted murder. I guess. I might message him. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Dude. If he reads our DMs, we should say, like, fuck you, man. You nearly killed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you boys ever had an infected cut so bad you were worried? Yeah, I remember other thieves. Remember when we were fucking in Laos? Your knee? In Laos? And my ankle? My, yeah, my foot. Yeah. After we did all that meth. Oh, that's oh, not right. <laughs> no, they have this. Yeah, Lau's got a this, lot of meth. They have this, this, this. Look, we were in Lau, and <laughs> and we're like, oh, do, do you guys? There's like, you know, they have like opiates, and they have magic mushrooms. They got weed everywhere, but we're like, oh, you know, we were young. We're like, oh, do you have any like things that what, uppers? Yeah, things that wake you up. And then this creepy fucking bartender owner guy sort of pulls us into his back room, <laughs> pulls us into his back room and then pulls out this little tablet and uh, like we end up, he shows us a way how to smoke this little tablet oh. and it was called Yabba. And it's it's we looked it up. It's literally crystal meth. We well we Fuck. looked looked it up after the few days. I was there, we were there for a week and I didn't sleep oh. at his bar for a week. Dude, <laughs> the dude was like he's had a kid that me and the kid would just hang out. So me and the kid, when everyone went to sleep during the day, I'd That'd stay up. Yeah, it's weird, no, no, man. he was a legend. <laughs> yeah, dude, and Michael's, a, Michael's on drugs, story. hanging out with an eight-year-old. That is a creepy story. <laughs> he was <Okay>. eight. <laughs> He's like, he said, mate. "Kid, I thought you meant like 16. He, well, he ran, he ran the bar as well because it's really different there. Like the whole family works. <laughs> I think we so should I cut this. You go to jail. Drinking beers with this kid serving me beers. <laughs> But like Whoa. it sounds weird. But there was fun times. So he he basically stop saying fun times of the kid. He had his bar at the end of the tubing network. So all the people would be walking up the tourists with their tubes at the end of the day or all throughout the day. So me and the kid would sit there on the edge and watch all the people walk up with their tubes. Kissing. <laughs> and I would. He taught me this prank where he puts like you know a can of coke. He punches like the the thing that you click to open it. He punches that in there with some fishing line throws the can over this line that sort of sits the can above like in the walkway of like the alley that we were sitting next yeah. to and then when people walk past you pull the string and the can just flies up in front of their head and they don't understand why a can's just taken that's flight. brilliant dude <laughs> all day for eight hours straight <laughs> i'm sitting there with this kid smoking meth with him well, dude, oh there, God, yeah God. literally there with oh yeah i won't get into that that was too much but like we would just pull on this fucking line and watch these people scream and they get people would arc up because they get so pride filled they're like oh fuck you man you fucking asshole and then me and the kid are just pissing ourselves for eight hours straight enjoying this scaring the shit out of people I wonder how he is now <laughs> yeah, dude it was oh man it's you get the death penalty if you're caught with that okay. yeah you don't want yeah, to get caught with him as well yeah so we were very dumb so don't ever do that but tubing network though that sounds fun oh, dude, yeah, oh, yeah. Float down a river. dude so someone fun. died every day though we got we there go the out. week yeah we, we were go out drowning from yeah. the tubing because people get fucked so on fucked drugs up and, alcohol. and there's real shallow bits and like jumps jump. from everywhere there's swings so you go from bar to bar and it just goes down this little river viang viang it is if you oh, want to go there man, yeah. but it's not fun. as good as it used to be we because didn't there's even rules do it now because we were just smoking meth the whole time <laughs> yeah true we, oh. well, we didn't go down the half like I pretty much just went up to the first bar then travelled back to that bar, end bar and did the can thing no, that's but, it. You didn't go on the on the river. Well, no, I not got, really. I'm I not got, gonna. I'm gonna be honest and say no. I never actually hired a tube. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> sake. But yeah, dude. And I don't think I went in the water. It's like not, that's how shit. It's not. It was. Stri- it's not. And it's not. We didn't realize. I, I feel like we should fucking <laughs> clarify this. It sounds like we're fucking junkies, but we didn't know it was meth. Okay, it was just called yabba, and it was just keeping us awake. <laughs> and then it's a mix of all these other things. All right, and and I didn't realize that you took it like that as well. 
You but smoke it. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. It was weird. Hey. Was anyway, different. I don't want to get into it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael doesn't travel, Brown. We've traveled. Yeah. He just goes on really expensive pub crawls. Yeah. That's literally it. <laughs> Dude, In yeah. Bali, he did that <laughs> he too. He doesn't see anything. He just goes, <laughs> gets blackout drunk, and yeah. comes home. <laughs> Bali did that I as well. scared the shit out of people with the can. <laughs> yeah, he did that too. That was so can. much fun. That's his In Bali, you went out, got drunk, and met a guy, got a tattoo, you threw fireworks around, and then you came home. Yeah. Holy Dude, shit. I, I just from thought saw this video the other day. It reminded me how when we we're in Bali, do you remember how um there's all those pests, people who sell you shit? Yeah. And Marty, every time they would come past, Marty would like go, hey, oh, hey, oh, Michael, Michael <laughs> wants to buy one of those. And he'd just like get crowded by these like Balinese salesmen trying to sell him all these flying lights and whistles and shit. And I hate like being rude. So I sort and of So Michael would buy one every now and then to <laughs> yeah. get him away. Yeah. Every time. Oh, Remember man. when we landed in the airport and some dude came up and asked if you were to take your bags? They're like, no, because they have to pay him money. Michael just gave him to him and he's like, look, That's some right. guy's carrying my Bad. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, you got to pay him. He's like, ah, oh. <laughs> it wasn't much. It was worth it. You gave him a lot. I yeah, remember I, you gave. I him give like a everyone a lot because it just makes their day so hard. They're like, holy fucking shit. Oh man, again with kids. When the kid beggars would come oh, up, would I'd give, hell. I'd give them extra and oh, they'd freak you fucking out. Would. Oh, oh, cash and a little something else. Oh. I'm starting to question my friend. <laughs> and then we'd scare people with a can. But anyway, we'd go out in loud night and every night they'd be like, oh, did you hear some English guy died today? Someone would die every night. And I had a little cut on my foot and it got fucking infected. And then I, so I, could, I, I got really sick from the yabba. Mm. I got quite sick. Yeah, from I, there was one point where I thought thought he was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he just started there's shivering no, and convulsing there's and no, shit. There's, oh, no, like, yeah. there's no hospitals and shit over there. I had a massive foot infection and then I couldn't drink or anything. So I just went out and did a whole bucket of magic mushroom on my own. Mm. Meant to be shared and I had the whole thing. And it was one of those mushroom trips where there's no not many visuals. I was just pissing myself laughing. And I felt like I could see people's aura. Like if some people were like, like glowing brightly and some were quite really dark and shit. It was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, I came all good. Cause you just go to the pharmacies there and they don't speak a lick of English and you just like point to like on your phone, what fucking medication you want. And they give it to you. <laughs> It's literally like you can go on and ask for Xanax and fucking. It's a cool place. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was our, um, <laughs> that was our Lao story, which sparked from the infection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I had an infection on my fat. I've never really had <laughs> bad infections. Like, they sort of, it might be infected for a week or two, and then it just goes down and fixes itself. The most I've seen you panic about an infection was the shit cannon. Yeah, we yeah, filled a potato cannon full for that one. of human shit and fired it into Michael's bare skin back. It's on the website. <laughs> well, you're not meant to. Uh, it felt like the shit broke my skin. Yeah, you're not meant yeah, to bleed from pretty shit. Sure it did. It did so that it means did. it entered your bloodstream. Yeah, but, shit but the, ble the blood, man. though, that's why bleeding is good because it pushes everything out. I swear well. bits of fecal it's cleaning got into it. Dude, you look far. I remember Marty and I had a moment where we looked at each other and we were like, oh, no. Because oh, I realized we went so night. we went so <laughs> close with the <laughs> with the fire cannon that I realized it fucks up your insides. Like it's like a bomb. Yeah, it was yeah. Just it like rattles you. perfectly. It that one's worth great. watching on the website. That's a banger. It's, and it came from like quite a tame video. Yeah, actually. I think it's called Worms wow. in Real Life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Michael's running through the house. <laughs> <laughs> and well, then, yeah, it runs inside, <laughs> covered in shit and blood. And then we're just like, oh, but then once you wipe it all away, it's like, oh, it's just very superficial, nothing deep. So then we knew it's going to be all right. Ooh, yeah. Have you got any questions you haven't asked Marty and Michael before that you'd oh. like to ask them? Our bra size. Oh, I know those already. <laughs> he buys your Fuck, clothes. that's hard. What about you, Matt? No. What do you reckon is the best jingle I've ever wrote? Oh, definitely. It's gone now. Um, the the Waltz and Matilda question and answers. Oh, no, no, no. I love that. The, this Q&A one beats the shit out of that Q&A. Yeah, oh, do you, you, remember, do you mean like, like podcast ones or just in general? I think that's in a general. question. I think Shinglong Shinglong Glungle <laughs> is the one that sticks in my brain uh -huh. the most. I think it's just because it was the one he stuck with for a good four or five days. Oh, you mean like overall jingles? Yeah. Oh, I don't man. Think that's more like a saying, I guess. Oh, but yeah, I really? guess that's sort of like a jingle. Overall jingles, jingle. like, oh, this, yeah, we leave the podcast and go to our worms comps and you come out with some unbelievable things. Oh, man. Worms, man. I can't put one on okay. it. Yeah, there's been thousands of jingles. There's a different one every week. I wonder what that is. 
I think it's like a form of um, ADD. No, I reckon stop. it's like a full-on learning difficulty thing. No, I don't know about that. I've never heard of anyone else. The kids at class with learning difficulties. Isn't it like an autistic thing? Singing random songs over and over and over. No. Nah. That's yeah. like yeah. a... Isn't that like <laughs> no some way. form of diabetes or... What about speaking the same words over and over and over? Yeah. What's yeah, that? that happens. Like a Spurgeous or something? Often autism. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Sp- well, yeah. well, there you go. Often autism. So you, you're an autistic pedophile who drives a van. And often sounds as well. They like sounds. I had an autistic He's boy who's kept going. He loves sounds. Oh. Yeah, he does love, love sounds. Yeah. He loves sounds. Sounds make him laugh the most out of anything that I do. Yeah. yeah. When Marty gets a good sort of combo of different sounds put together in yeah. an erratic motion, it gets me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, oh man, Fluxarg, like Frittilish Fluxarg. That was yeah, so you good. were caught on that one for a long time. <laughs> what just see Michael pissing himself laughing on the couch in the morning and I just see him sitting there on his own what re watching that clip. This was weeks. For weeks and weeks he did that. <laughs> Bruxton <laughs> Bruxton, where are you? <laughs> Fripsilish <laughs> Fluxarg. It's funny that he, he said that to a girl. <laughs> she would have had to read that. Yeah, yeah. Trying to analyze like, what, what it the means. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, I've got a question for James. Um, oh. you were, were you a bit of a bully at school? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yes or no? Yeah, I suppose. That's well, bad times I was. What's one of the worst the things dick? you ever did as a bully? Uh, he's a, he's he's now, well, like, he's the, he's the nicest person in the world now. Yeah, yeah, I was a bit of a dick at school. I think it was the group of mates I were in. You I just in. said a few stories to me and they're just great. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to. I, I, what about I that one where that that that, that, that yeah. it wasn't you? It was your mate who dacked that guy walking out on stage? Oh yeah, holy shit! So he good. has. There is so many stories of that guy. He was so funny, man. I think yeah, he just he just loved to be really cheeky. I think that was similar to me, but sometimes it would be at someone else's expense. But it's very boys' school. I yeah. copped just as much as I gave. But yeah. this guy would like. Man, he would do some hilarious shit. Like that, we, it was always in drama class. Like, because we'd have a lot of time just to do group work. He he got mono once, pretty bad. Oh, we were really? just like rehearsing this scene. I just saw him in the background, picked up a rock, and just like pecked as hard as he couldn't hit mono on the back of the head. Yeah, it was nearly a fight. That was a bad oh my one. Yeah, God. yeah. Dude, he was crazy. And that was that was once we're like we we're rehearsing this really like dramatic scene, and like, there was this one kid in our grade who sort of just everyone picked on a bit. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, a bit sad but anyway Brown. and yeah. and like brendan just would like just go up to him and just like just get it get into a bit of a run and then just like <laughs> leap and just put, like <laughs> smash both his legs into the back of his knees <laughs> <laughs> it just like collapse collapse onto the ground i would love to see oh, that man, yeah, yeah the best one and there's the one i've told you guys about is the one where like we would we're literally just about to go out on stage. So like our final performance in front of like all the parents, it's a big private school. So it was like hundreds of people in the crowd. And like we were just we were ready to go out on stage. And we all had to like line up. We were lining up because we go out in like a row and we had like masks on. It was like a masked theater piece. And Brendan was in front of me. And then there was, oh shit, I said his name, but it doesn't matter. Brendan. And then the guy in front of him, was um another friend of ours actually, but like he fucking copped it that night because Brendan like looked down, he sort of like nud- nudged me and pointed at his pants, and he had like a tiny just rip in the seam of his <laughs> pants that went down. <laughs> so Brendan like, looked at me and just grabbed each side of the pants and just pulled, just pulled out, ripped it the whole way down. Oh just my as God. We were about to go out on stage. <laughs> I remember he just like just looked down and looked at us and just could not do anything about it. Like as we were just just about to walk out so we just did the whole performance like with just ripped pants on his ass hanging out and Brendan and I were just like pissing ourselves laughing thank fuck it was a masked piece a masked piece because I couldn't have done it I couldn't have done it my parents even said to me we you, like your shoulders were like moving on the stage <laughs> I told them this story and even mum and dad oh, were like so good <laughs> poor kid that is so oh, man. Dude, he you- gave me so so many laughs. Do you know where he is now, guy. Brendan? Yeah, I messaged him only like a year ago being like, do you remember all these things? And he was like, yeah. He was like, I think he felt quite bad about it. But yeah, he's like, he works like in the mines and stuff now. I think. <laughs> he felt bad about it. Yeah. He's so, so he's so sad about he was it. such a dick. Oh man. Imagine if he was in jail. He's like, 
<laughs> anyway. Ripping people's <laughs> Dude, take like the time. I'll never forget the story. I think you said it before when you and Henry found that passed out dude on the island on a bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and decided to just push him off. <laughs> 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 this fucking old cut. This fucking old. Oh, my God. I totally forgot oh about that. God. That's right. He, was, Henry. <laughs> he pushed his man off the bridge. Oh my he was, God. He was sort of hang, half hanging onto the bridge. And it wasn't like a very high bridge. It's only just going over a very small little creek. <laughs> and, the, and the sides, you know, leading down into the creek were pretty steep. And he was half hanging onto the bridge. Just, just couldn't stand up oh still. How did he get on the side of the bridge? He was hanging, like, he was half <laughs> hanging onto the bridge, half standing, looking down at the creek. So the bridge is just to his right, and he's just hanging onto one handle. And Henry just ran up behind him and pushed him, and he just went rolling down <laughs> into the into the bottom of the creek. And then we fucking pissed ourselves around. Because it, it, it just looked like he was that drunk that he just fell. And he didn't even say or do anything. He didn't even try and chase us or anything. I think he thought himself that he just fucking fell. <laughs> oh, 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 then, oh, oh, oh. then we found him again later passed out just in randomly in the middle of this fucking wherever the fuck we were <laughs> and we started like throwing sand at his face oh, yeah, this, this, it's the yeah, same yeah, story same guy, yeah. <laughs> throwing sand at his face and nothing he wasn't moving wasn't moving and we'd get more and more extreme with our sand throws so start throwing overhand a little bit, a little bit harder <laughs> then the, the Henry would up me go a little bit harder and by the end we were fucking pegging sand at this guy's face <laughs> <laughs> and then Henry did it Henry did it once one last time, just fucking <laughs> as hard sand, as he sand to this guy, and he immediately woke up <laughs> and shot up. And me and Henry, I've never had such a surge of adrenaline. Man, Henry just fucking legged it onto the beach and took a left into some bushes, and fucking never saw him again. Oh my god! I love that vision of just winding up, pegging sand <laughs> yeah. as hard as you can into his face. Did it sound nice, dude? It was such a funny sound. It <laughs> that would hurt. It wouldn't fucking. Wait Fucking like oath that would hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh. And just his face when he woke up, it's like he had realized everything that had happened in the in just half a second. He just woke up and realized oh, what had gone on. It was mine and Henry's fault. And just got up immediately and started chasing us. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so fine. many Henry stories. Yeah. Fuck. We'll have more soon with Michael's bucks coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, fuck. I can't, I can't imagine him at the golf course, eh? Hey. Oh, it's gonna be He's so gonna have no patience for that shit <laughs> <laughs> it little, or, has it already happened since this episode oh no I think this comes out so in four days from this episode coming out is your bucks wow that's so oh. hot that's crazy let the fun begin, begin. oh begun. yeah fun begun <clears throat> alright that's the end of the fucking questions we got any PO box or what we do alright fucking oh, hit it man big bitch I don't think we have we a PO box yeah, I say, that, <laughs> say that every week uh, be fragile careful all right, Matt, do you want to do the honors? If you want to send us anything, please send it to P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018. We open everything live on the podcast and we get sent all sorts of shit. And can we please ask that you send us um, more, more of your own pubic hair so we can feel this jar of hair that Matt's going to glue to his head on the season finale? Um, I know what that is. Because you've got... So um, Matt Heyman has sent that through. He's a mate of Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, wow. What are they? Little stickers or something? And he sent us... Some oh, stickers. Wow. Bomb oh, break. stickers. Here, put, put this one and cover Personal all of your other stickers. fucking shit stickers. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, Matt Heyman, thank you, dude, Let's for put sending these all those over. through. We're gonna put How many these are on there? The van. They Let's sent a bunch. I didn't think there was yeah, going to be so, so cool. many. But Let's put a few on the van and we'll put a few. We'll put a, We'll put some on the house. We'll go to public toilets. Can you pass me them, Michael? I'll show everyone some stickers. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Free advertisements. Guerrilla there marketing, go. they call that. You did very, very well. Hey, boys and Brown. Since Brown loves fucking stickers so much, I thought I should make him some good ones. Hope you guys like them. Let me know if you want more. Put them over Brown's naked body. P.S. Hope Boz is doing well. P.P.S. I love the Brown. Can I box him in a charity match? I've already hey, spoke to him about really it. Really wants to box. Will be fun. <laughs> Keep up the awesome work, boys. The Matt Heyman. Matt, Thank this Matt guy messaged me and said, "Hey, do you want to do a bit of a charity box? You know, it'd be a bit of fun." And I was like, "Oh, I don't know." And then I, I looked at him, and like he said, "I'm an old guy. I'm nothing like this." I looked at him, and he's a he's a stud old guy. He looks like he'd definitely beat the shit out of me. He's Volkanovski's mate. <laughs> and he's too, Volkanovski's mate. Yeah, true. So it'd be terrifying. Things, then it's bad. But so it's a maybe for now. 
Oh, these are so bloody yeah, nice. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. Yeah, cheers, Matty. Uh, uh, Thanks, right. Matt. What's in that fucking thing? All right. Any guesses? Do you know what it is? No, no <laughs> idea. Because you've got... You, you don't know what this is, Matt? No, it could be a Volkanovsky. Imagine if it was know. all pubic hair. Oh, was it the same person who sent this in there? No, this is a different one. Imagine it was a massive sticker. <laughs> oh, that would be yeah. so disappointing if it was. I reckon it's a dartboard. Yeah, it could be a dartboard, Michael. Because you've got... This is one of the biggest packages we've ever been sent, guys. Yeah, so this, um, it could be a car. It could be just a whole lot of anthrax. Oh, dead within seconds. Into my Man, dead within seconds. That chili shit that we got sent last week that <laughs> fucked up. Oh, Brown, yeah. It got James as well. Oh, and it man. fucked up Julian. It got on his skin somehow. And he had a rash yeah. from it. And then it gave Michael the idea to fucking use... Ch- anyway. Yeah. It's been shit with chili. Cause yeah, chili's God. made a real comeback around here recently. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no way. What is it? Oh my god. What? It's beautiful. Wow. It's a cutout. Shit. Oh, look at that. That's Would you beautiful. look at that? It has eh? these little bits on the back. Make it stand. Oh, wow. Up. That's so cool. That's one of the nicest things we've it, ever been no, sent. I'm going to say this is by far the best thing that we've ever been sent. Not even close. Bullshit. It's the stickers, Matt. Anyway. That's so cool. There you go. Look at that. It's me, Michael, and Bob's so cool. out. And um, they fucking Fuck go. yeah. We should draw a, oh, a little version that. of Matt on this. What is that? It's just the bit that sticks oh, in between okay, there. Okay. Yeah, wow. That's fully, fully, eh? Oh, God, oh Bozzy. Good boy. Good there you go. Boy. It's beautiful. Thank That's you. Thank you very much, guys. Very Remember, good. we do open everything live, so send whatever you want. We've been sent some fuck shit before. Actual shit. Remember that? Remember we yeah. got sent actual shit? Com- used condoms? <laughs> Prehistoric shit. Actually, can I we try want. your mum again? The person you are calling. Shit. shit. Does that mean she's hanging up on She me? might be working. I think she's set to like a work mode. Do not disturb The not. person you are calling. Should uh. we call um, the store that she works at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, like guys. it's really urgent. Don't forget to send in your confessions, okay? And if you, if we deem them good enough, we will pay you to tell them to your mum, okay? So DM the Marty and Michael Instagram account and the Marty and Michael fully actual Instagram account, okay? Yeah. DM them your confessions. Yeah, just if you even want to just chat to me. Like, and don't I'll worry, you. <laughs> you, we, we can make your name and everything anonymous, okay? So you don't need to worry about us. Like, yeah, your name doesn't need to get out there. We can just have come up with aliases so everyone remains anonymous, especially no you, Matt. Yeah, no judgment. And, and like, we're not going to tell anyone. We're not snitches, cunt. I want to be everyone's Remember friend. that segment we had where we got people to send in their crimes? Oh, true crimes, yeah. That was fucked. There was a, there was a few where I was like, Jesus, man, mm. you should definitely be in jail. And then we just let those go and we didn't snitch on them. And now so, those people are still out there perpetrating and hunting and mm, being still predators. committing those crimes. So that's our bad. That's on us now. And mm. now yeah, it's our fault. Yeah, but we've, it's paying it backwards. So you're helping the criminal. We're the best. 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 We're the best.